Sample rates in audio. Mm -hmm. This question comes from Preston in Birmingham, Alabama. And Preston writes, Paul, I love your videos. Why, thank you, sir. And I've learned so much. That's why I'm here, sir. Um, I've heard you talk about sample rates and bit depth, and I still don't understand how sample rate relates, uh, relates to frequency response. I've heard that the sample rate is how many snapshots are taken per second of the signal. I don't understand how this relates to frequency response. Does the sample rate dictate the frequency range that is able to be reproduced? Yes, pretty much, kind of. <laughs> okay. So, Preston's right. Um, when we sample something, we're taking a snapshot of the voltage. So imagine that we have a sine wave, okay? It's going up and down. And we want to reproduce that digitally. So what do we do? Well, we sample that rising and falling voltage uh, so many times a second. So on a CD, we will sample it 44,000 times a second. So uh, one 44,000th of a second, we will take a snapshot of where the voltage is and we just measure the voltage. So it's, 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 you know, it's at 0.1 volts, the next one is at 0.2, and the next one's at 0.3, and the next one's at 0.4, and on, on down. And we take a snapshot and we convert that to a digital number and that becomes our digital signal. When we play it back, we just reproduce it. Okay, so how quickly we sample something is definitely related to how many, how high the frequency that we can sample. And here's why. It's, it's actually kind of simple, but I don't want to simplify it too much so that I, I lose you on this. Imagine for a moment that you were trying to uh, get something that was 100,000 cycles a second. Now, we can't hear that, right? But just as an example, so in one system, we can, we can, it's running at 44,000 times a second sampling, and we know that the limit for that is 20,000 cycles. Now we want to raise that by five times, okay? So what, what happens? If we still stay at that 44,000 times sample rate, so it's only looking one, once every 44 thousandths of a second, in our something that is moving five times faster, in between those samples, that's going, something's going to change and we won't see it, right? So just imagine something going five times faster than, than the time we look. Well, in between times that we take a snapshot, um, maybe photography is a, a good way to put this. I think you're probably going to get this already, okay? But if, if, I'm, if I'm out here and, and you have a picture of me running towards the camera and this camera is shooting at 24 frames a second, okay? And to you, it looks like um, those snapshots are together and it's a movie and so you see me as a fluid moving person because um, it's shooting at 24 frames a second, and I can't move faster than that 24 frames. But it's still snapshots. It's still just individual pictures that are picking up this movement. Now, if I were to be able to be like Flash Gordon, and in between those snapshots, I was able to disappear and reappear back here, what would you see? Well, you would see here, and then all of a sudden, skip this part, here, right? Or you'd see this, you wouldn't see this movement, you'd, all of a sudden I'd appear here and I'd appear there because I'm moving faster than the snapshot rate of what's recording what's happening. Does that make sense? So the reason that we use double the sample rate, so you can always figure this out, uh, is called the Nyquist theorem that um, basically just says, in order to capture this frequency, you need to get double that, and then you can accurately capture anything on there. So with 44,000, the most we can get is 20,000 cycles. At 192, 24 bits, we'll talk about bits later, um, you can capture, well, what's half of 192? I can't do math very well. So 100,000 cycles. 
we don't need that much and there's other reasons why we do that but there are harmonics that go way beyond 20 kilohertz and we want to capture those upper harmonics in order to keep the signal intact so a higher sample rate does that quite nicely and it sounds more natural because those harmonics the upper frequencies that we can't hear yet we are aware of in terms of timing phase shift and all that those are important to capture and higher sample rates will capture things that are moving quicker than what happens between those snapshots i hope that i hope that helps i hope that got you closer to understanding all right Take it easy. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.